This video is brought to you by scan.co.uk. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hey guys, Jack here, hope you're all doing well and had a great weekend. I recently did a video guide on the best primary weapons in BF1 for each class, but one thing that I didn't go into in that video was the sidearms, and a lot of people in the comments requested that I do something similar for those, so that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Before we get stuck in though, a cheeky giveaway for you guys, Logitech have given me 50, yes 5-0 codes for an exclusive in-game melee weapon the barbed wire bat that apparently you can only get from buying Logitech gear but they've given me 50 codes to give away anyway so you don't have to looks very menacing indeed if you want a chance of winning a code just leave a comment down below and if you're feeling extra nice hit that like button as well as these type of videos do take an exceptional amount of time and effort to put together so there are 18 pistols in BF1 but not all of them can be used by each class some are class specific now you may think that there are more, but remember in each class you have two versions of two pistols. The M1911 and the P08 have Hellfighter and Red Baron versions respectively, but technically they're the same pistol, albeit with a few tiny changes that we will talk about. Also, for the purposes of this video, we should discount the Calibri because, yeah, it's a fun pistol for some laughs, but for the most part, it's not a sidearm that you're going to pick because of any real benefits. It's just a bit of a laugh. And that leaves us with 17 pistols to go over. Each class has five all-class pistols and then three pistols that are always specific to that class, so let's start with the class-specific weapons first. Where best to begin? Assault is as good as any. Assault has the Gasser M1870, the Howder, and the 1903 hammerless as its class specific sidearms. The Gasser M1870 will do 50 plus damage up to around 22 meters so as a close range pistol to finish off an enemy it's pretty strong. It's a revolver after all though that was actually obsolete heading into the war but was still favoured by the Austrian army because of its stopping power. It's accurate, it does big damage but does have a slowish rate of fire. It's not actually that slow to be fair, but it's just that the other pistols are faster and well, it's reload time is pretty lengthy to say the least. Next is the Howder pistol and this went through a bit of a transition. When I played BF1 at events and at Gamescom, there was a pistol called the Howder Sweeper and it was very, very good. Almost like a shotgun pistol, but the current version of the Howder doesn't seem to be quite on the same level. I think that's got a lot to do with the fact that the Sweeper was just insanely good. The sweeper variants of guns means that they shoot weaker but more pellets making them far stronger up close. My guess is that they tweaked it to a different version so it was no longer a sweeper variant. The howder isn't super accurate but it packs a punch up close and I mean very close. To get its full 53 damage you need to be within at least 6 meters. After that the damage drops off massively. It's got fantastic hit fire though but remember it's got a mere 4 shots before you need to reload so make sure you use them wisely. And lastly for the assault specific weapons we've got the 1903 hammerless. I wonder how it got that name. Well, you may be thinking it's obvious, but it actually isn't. Despite its name, it does actually have a hammer. It's just covered and hidden from view under the rear slide. Designed to be small and concealable, so you could withdraw it from, let's say, a pocket smoothly without snagging it. This packs way less of a punch than the previous two pistols we looked at, doing 26 damage up to around 9 meters before dropping off. But what it has got going for it is its accuracy and magazine size. 9 bullets in the mag and a fast reload time means it's a great little sidearm to do that final bit of damage fast. Next we move on to the Medic. For Medic we've got the Auto Revolver, the Mauser C96 and then the Tashin Pistol M1914. The Auto Revolver certainly looks the part and it does the damage as well, up to 53 damage at 6 meters and still doing 50 damage at 10 meters. If we compare it directly with the other revolver that the Medic can use, the number 3 revolver, then it does slightly more damage and can fire that little bit faster. It actually it actually has a pretty unique design too, it uses recoil to rotate its cylinder and cock its hammer after every shot, hence the automatic name. The Mauser C96 is next, sometimes known as the broom handle because of its wooden stock. The C96 was of course the inspiration for the iconic DL44 blaster pistol so fondly used by Han Solo in Star Wars. That's a pretty strong heritage. It's a great all round pistol really in BF1, good accuracy and hip fire as well as 10 bullets in the magazine. Up to 13 meters it will do its full minimum damage of 28 so it's not too shabby at all. Lastly for Medic we've got the Tashin Pistol M1914, doesn't sound particularly beefy because well it 
isn't. It's really fast firing, but it's a small pistol, so each shot doesn't do a great deal of damage. 26 damage, in fact, up to 9 meters. Still, that isn't too bad. You can fire it up to 449 RPM, so the 9 round magazine can go pretty fast. There are a number of these types of pistols in the game the 1903 Hammerless that we've already covered, the Fromastop, and the Modella 1915 that we'll cover shortly. They're all very similar low damage, high rate of fire with good accuracy. So, moving on, let's cover the Modella 1915. It's one of the three support only pistols alongside the Steyr M1912 and the Bulldog Revolver. The Modelo is almost identical to the Tashin Pistol M1914 that we just covered, so there isn't really much there to add. It's got the same damage, fire rate, magazine size, bullet drop, you get the picture fast fire rate, low damage. The Bulldog Revolver, on the other hand, a very different option, dealing 53 damage up to 6 meters and dropping off to around 27 damage at 20 meters. This is a short barrel revolver intended to be carried in a coat pocket, meaning that many Bulldogs have survived to this day in good condition, having seen very little use. It was originally manufactured in 1872 and a 44 caliber Belgian-made British Bulldog Revolver was used to assassinate US President James A. Garfield on 2nd of July 1881. It's a bit more accurate in BF1 than the number 3 revolver and does a touch more damage but as with a lot of the other revolvers it's got a very slow reload due to reloading each bullet one at a time. And lastly for support we've got the Steyr M1912 or the repeater pistol M1912 as it's called in BF1 and I think it's probably the coolest looking sidearm in the game. This is a long range pistol compared to the other two offerings dealing its full damage of 30 up to 12 meters and still doing 15 damage at 33 meters and beyond. 15 is its minimum damage in fact, it's quite similar to the C96 for Medic in the fact that it does medium damage at medium range. It had very few moving parts which meant it was an extremely durable pistol, it's also got a very cool reload animation. Now for the last of the unique pistols on the Scout class, let's start with the Fromastop because as we mentioned earlier it's extremely similar to two pistols we've already covered. The Fromastop is practically identical to the Modelo 1915 and the Tashin pistol M1914. They've got the same damage, fire rate, reload times etc. As we talked about before these pistols are low damage and fast firing and other than that being called something different they all operate the same. Next is another revolver, this time the Badeo 1889. Used by the Royal Italian army in World War One. it was named after the firearms designer Carl Badeo. You can expect long reload times as well as the familiar 53 damage up to 6 meters. Even at 40 meters and beyond though it's still going to be doing 17 damage. Other than a faster rate of fire the number 3 revolver is better in most aspects. Last but not least for the Scout class we've got the Mars Automatic. It was sometimes known as the Webley Mars and it was actually developed by Englishman Hugh Gabbett Fairfax and distributed by the Mars Pistol Syndicate of Birmingham in the UK. The Mars Syndicate sounds pretty sinister when you read it out. It was developed in 1900 but ceased production in 1907. For a long time it was the most powerful handgun in the world. Even still it's not the pistol that does the most damage in the game. The Mars will do 40 damage but it will do it up to 40 meters so while it doesn't deal the highest damage it does have a fantastic range to do maximum damage. It was actually rejected by the British War Office as a replacement for the Webley and Scott revolver because of the insane recoil and considerable muzzle flash as well as being very mechanically complicated. The game though of course is a bit more generous meaning it's got good hip fire and it's accurate in the right hands. Also it's got 11 bullets in its magazine. I like the Mars, it's one of my favourites. So that's it for the class specific pistols and we've still got the 5 pistols that you can use across all classes to get through. Some that we've already talked about a little bit, we've got the M1911, the P08, the MLE1903, the Borchardt, C93 and the number 3 revolver. I'm going to start with the number 3 revolver because we've talked about it already in passing when comparing it to other revolvers and personally I've got a bit of a soft spot for it. After all it is made by Smith & Wesson. It's another pistol that does its max damage of 63 up to 6 meters meaning that it will two shot an enemy at that range. The Mars Automatic, as we've mentioned, is a beast, but even that requires three shots, although it's a lot more accurate than the number three. The other good thing that the number three has compared to some of the other revolvers is its reload. Unlike the revolvers that reload one bullet at a time, the number three reloads all six simultaneously, making its reload much faster. Let's move on to the C93, or the Borchart C93, named after its designer, Horgo Borchart. This is a crazy looking pistol. Well, a lot of them were in World War I times, but this design specifically. Doing 20 
26 damage up to 15 meters. It's a fairly decent mid-range pistol at 359 RPM with 9 bullets in the magazine. You can do a lot of damage up close. In fact, on paper it's superior to the beloved M1911 in most things, but not damage. The C93 was the first mass-produced semi-auto pistol. The way its toggle lock mechanism was designed served as the precursor for the legendary P08 pistol. Speaking of which, why not cover that one now? The P08 was the most widespread German sidearm during the Great War because it was accurate and durable. It can do 30 damage up to 12 meters, so while it does more damage than the C93, it's actually weaker in other aspects including recoil and firing rate. We mentioned it right before at the beginning of the video, but the P08 was also used by the Red Baron and Battlefield 1 has a Red Baron version for use. Surprisingly, as far as I can tell, the stats are slightly different though. For the most part, they're identical, but the Red Baron version has a better damage drop-off compared to the base P08. And then we've got the MLE M1903, a Belgian-made pistol that was used by multiple nations. It was made by John Browning and was introduced in, you guessed it, 1903. Maybe military and even police forces used it because it was accurate, reliable and lightweight. In game, that accuracy shines through as it does 30 damage up to 12 meters and it doesn't fire too slow either. It's actually based on the same design as the Colt 1903 Hammerless we talked about earlier and you can tell just by looking at them they do look very similar indeed. Indeed. Last but certainly not least for all of the BF1 pistols is the M1911, arguably one of the most well-known pistols certainly of the war. It's an iconic weapon and by many people it's considered the greatest semi-automatic pistol ever made and few could argue. The US alone procured over 2.7 million M1811 and M1911A pistols during its service life. It was eventually replaced by the Beretta M9 pistol but not until October 1986. In BF1 it's more close range than some of the other pistols but it still does fantastic damage dealing its maximum 35 damage up to 6 meters but still doing 33 damage at 10. With a mag size of 8 and a moderate fire rate what the M1911 gives you is accurate close range fire with a punch. And there we have it, that's all of the pistols covered, but it wouldn't be right after going through all of them that I didn't pick one pistol from each class that I would personally use myself. It may not necessarily be the best one on paper, but here goes, here are my favourites. For Assault, I love the C93, then Medic, the number 3 revolver, just to get my fix. Support is more open, but I would probably go for the repeater pistol M1912, and then for Scout, the Mars Automatic certainly has a flair to it. And that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this pistol guide. Remember to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and a comment down below if you're interested in winning one of those barbed wire bats. As always, cheers for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.